Hello, this is Dora Tarver from e-projectmanagers.com and today we're going to learn how to make a master schedule. I recently received an email from someone who asked the following question. I'm currently working on multiple projects and would like to not only individualize each project but consolidate all projects into an overall visual aid. Any suggestions? Thanks. So for that person I want to explain how you actually create a master schedule. Now when you open up Microsoft Project and I'm in version 2007 but this does also work for earlier versions of Microsoft Project. You'll first open or create a new file which will be your master schedule. I've already created a file so I'm just going to go ahead and open it but you know if you're creating a new file you just click on new and it'll open up a new empty project schedule for you. Now when you have a series of projects you'll need to build the individual project schedules separately and I've actually built a few examples here I'm just gonna pick one for now and I filled it in so it illustrates uh, the basic things that you would see in a project schedule, the different phases, uh, milestones, and different tasks. So once you have your project schedules built and then you have an empty schedule which is going to be your master schedule, then you go to the top menu item and look for the word insert. Click on the menu item insert and look for the submenu item project and when you click on project you'll see a dialog box that pops up and you would go to the location where your project schedules are located that you want to add into the master schedule. So I'm going to select the first one. Um, also note that when you click on insert and go into this insert project dialog box at the bottom of the dialog box there is a checkbox for link to project and if you're planning on maintaining the project schedules, the individual project schedules outside of the master schedule, then you'll want to keep this link. But if you're going to maintain the schedules, which you can do, in the master schedule, then you'll want to check this link off. Okay? Because if you check it off, then once you insert the project schedules, then you can make changes to the project schedules while you're inside the master schedule. If you check it on, then when you make updates to the individual schedules that you can open up at a different time, those changes will be reflected in the master schedule. So personally I find it easier to just uh, create a schedule initially and link it into uh, the master schedule um, to, to insert it into the master schedule and turn linking off um, and then I maintain the schedules from the master schedule. That's typically how I work but if you're more comfortable doing it another way that's perfectly fine. So anyway you uh, select the project schedule, you click on the button at the bottom here that says insert and it places the project schedule in your master schedule. Um, now what I'm going to do is insert another row up here and just call this um, master um, portfolio view. Okay, and then I'm going to just insert this task so that it appears under master portfolio view. Oops. And expand the column a little bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and insert the other project schedules that I've created for this example. And I'm going to insert my second schedule here. Oops, you know what? See, this is what happens when you don't turn the link off. I just selected it and I forgot to, de to check, take off the check mark for link. So let me just delete this for now and go back and insert that project schedule and turn the linking off. Okay, click on insert, then go back. I'm going to insert my third example that I have for you. Turn linking off. Go ahead and insert it. 
And there I have my, my three schedules. Now when I expand these um, by clicking on the plus sign, you'll see the details that existed for that project. And also what you'll notice is that when Microsoft Project inserts the project schedules, it brings the file name. Uh, if you prefer, you can actually delete that one row. I'll just delete it here so you can see. Oops. Hold on one second. I'll, I'll have to outdent this by moving it out first. There we go. And then delete this because I prefer to just see the project name in my master schedule. So I'm going to outdent this by moving it out. That's what this is for, outdenting. And then I'm going to delete this extra file name that uh, Microsoft Project brings in when you um, when you insert a project. So again, I'm just going to select the level that I want, outdent that, and delete the upper level. So now I see each project name, as opposed to the file name that I saved it as. Um, this this is the project name that I have in each of the in the project schedules, um, and you can see that I can see everything from here. Um, one of the things that you'll need to do is if you had any formatting in your um, project schedules that you built, you'll need to also create the same formatting here in the master schedule. Um, in terms of formatting, I like to go to the menu option format and select text styles and I select milestone tasks from the item to change drop down box and change the color of the milestone tasks. Uh, I usually change them to blue and if I click on OK you'll see all the milestones which have a duration of zero days now appear blue. This makes it easier to to read and that you'll see is consistent for everything that I've uh, pasted in here. Um, you know, so you'll want to put whatever formatting that you like uh, in your schedule, and um, that's pretty much it. I mean, you will, in these examples, I didn't completely build a, a full functional project schedule, but whatever details you had in terms of resources, um, all that information would appear here. Um, what you might want to do, though, in terms of resources is, um, from your resource view, if you have your resource, if you have your um, view bar uh, visible, you can click on the resource sheet here. If you don't have your view bar visible, just go to the menu option view and check on view bar. Mine is already checked on. If I check it off, you'll see it goes away. But you'll want to check on your view bar, and um, from view, you can select resource sheet and. Um, if you paste in your project schedules and they already have resources in them, you might get duplicate names here, uh, in which case you'll need to come in and clean that up. Or you can just build your resources, type your resource names in or cut and paste them in and um, put in whatever details you need for your resources. And then from the master schedule view, you'll be able to select those resources. So for example, if I come in here and just type Jane Doe and I'll type John whoops, Doe and um, for now I'm just going to put in their names just so that you can see this example. Um, let's say I open up my project here and I'm putting resources in. Let's just say Jane is working on this task and John is working on this task and maybe the two of them are working together on this task. But anyway you get the idea um, you can build your resources in the master schedule or when you import your resources, if they already have resources in the schedules, those will come over and be in your master schedule, but you will need to uh, clean them up if they're duplicate names. Um, so that's it. That's how you create a master schedule. It's pretty straightforward, very easy to do. Um, now you can actually view uh, from the Gantt chart view the various tasks that are in the uh, master schedule. Um, when you expand the levels, you'll see the uh, from the Gantt chart view, let's see, this starts in November, so if I back up to November, <laughs> I'll see the Gantt chart view here for those tasks. Um, you know, every project has a different time frame, so you'll be able to see that detail in the Gantt chart. 
we'll have another lesson on how to work with the Gantt chart and uh, manipulate that so that you can see information in a very easy way. But for now, that's our lesson on how to create a master schedule. Thank you for joining me.